And you want to start out with a really good looking fresh asparagus. So when you get it home, you want to clean it. Obviously when you buy it, you want to make sure that it's very sturdy. It's not limp. You'll know it's not limp by just giving it a little and listening for that snap. Then you know it's fresh. Now you can either do that, take the stems off, you can leave the stems on and just shave them with a vegetable peeler if you want. Or if they're thin enough, they're not so thick, you can just cook the whole thing. It's up to you. So what we did here is what, exactly what we did with the eggplant. We simply toss these in some extra virgin olive oil, a little salt, put them on a bake sheet in a single layer, and we baked them in the oven until they were tender. And you'll know they're tender by just taking a knife and inserting it in the stems. You see, when it goes easily through the stem, well, you know that that's the time to take them out of the oven. This is the larger ball, beautiful. So we're going to make a dressing for our asparagus. And in here I just have some fresh squeezed lemon juice. That's all this is. I'm going to put a few grains of salt in there. And again, just whisk in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And here is another tomato. Now remember, we're using beefsteak type tomatoes for this. So once you have it skinned, you want to take out those seeds. So I like to do that in a bowl. And what I do is I just take the end of a spoon, you see, and just get those seeds out. It's a good way to do it. Just take, pull out the seeds like that with the, the, the end of a spoon. Just get all those seeds out. And then you can just discard the seeds. I mean, you can leave the seeds in if you want to, but I don't particularly like them in the salad. So just getting those seeds out, cut up your tomatoes, dice them up. Okay. We're going to toss these tomatoes with a little of this dressing, just like that. Toss it around and then take them and put them around the asparagus. See? So colorful. This particular salad reminds me of the Italian flag because we're going to have all the colors of the Italian flag right here. So pretty to look at. And then, we're not done. We set this aside and we have ourselves some beautiful sorrel. And this is what we're going to put over the top of our salad. It's a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin, over the top, and a little bunch of sorrel.